hey guys and welcome back to our channel we are back with a new episode of dawson's creek this is season one episode 10 uh, we're about to get started like we do every week please like and subscribe leave a comment down below and follow along on the episode with us okay let's get into it you realize it's been nearly two weeks since Jen and i broke up and now once has she made an effort to get together just spend some time maybe go to the movies i Y'all broke up why does he think jen should hang out with him after they broke up why do you think why does he think jen should care like the level of delusion that dawson had is still on match yeah definitely he's crazy <laughs> <laughs> how can you seem to be friends with someone when every time you look at them all you think about is how much money you really want he is so like just well, you know, I'm, oblivious I'm the fact that joey for a full season endured dawson like literally ignoring her feelings like he yeah. just flat out told him and he, he still didn't just, get it because even after the episode <laughs> the uh episode where jim broke up with him he was still talking about it. me and joey just friends she don't like me she, <laughs> she get it basically but i feel like pacey even told him like last episode that joey likes him he did he did tell her uh last uh episode before last and probably the last episode too Yes, why don't we talk about this in the office? Yes, it was work related. It isn't what you think it was. It was Bob. It was to call here. He had a simple question. Oh. Exactly, why would you call? Don't call him. <laughs> to call my wife that the only simple question he'll need an answer for is do you have health insurance? Barely your wife. It didn't mean anything. You don't have to be angry. Mitch be ready, okay? Yeah, Mitch got some hands. Perfect. I know it. I know Mitch can fight. <laughs> How are you doing? Great. Great, you? Great. Great. Uh, Dawson? Tell your friends. <laughs> Can we still be friends? No, girl. Give him some time. So she asked if you'd be a friend. You will be getting your midterm exams back today. But before I hand them back, I'd like to see the following people after class. Those people are Pacey Witter. Oh, Pacey Witter. Oh. I guess that's okay. it. <laughs> okay, why would you do that? As a teacher, why would you do that? Call me out in front of everybody. And I'm the only person you calling out. We're going to fight. <laughs> Maybe he really didn't know it was just Pacey. No, no. He looked like he's spiteful. I know you're a bright kid. I want you to complete an extra credit project for me. Right on schedule, Joey. I'd like you to meet your new lab partner. No, I think she had a bad grade, too. So they was uh, doing extra credit. No, she was doing extra credit so she could boost up her uh, Dr. application. Dr. Like Jen, I would love to be your friend. Really? She's going on a date already. Maybe, maybe this isn't such a good idea. You asked him to be your friend literally like an hour ago. <laughs> maybe this is not such a good idea. What? Okay, well then, in the name of friendship, we're going to the carnival on Saturday. The truth is, I also have a date this weekend, and we're going to the carnival. Isn't that a coincidence? Yeah, yeah it is. Uh, That's too much. A double date? A double date? We just broke up. Is Are that you serious? <laughs> of course I'm serious. What do you say? The four of us. Fact. I think I have the perfect candidate right mm -hmm. there. My bet. Oh, hi, Justin. Uh, do you mind if I join you? Oh, no. Hey. You go out with me on Saturday. Sorry to uh, interrupt. I was just wondering if uh, anyone had called that I should know about. Now I'm trying to get the info. Did your mother's lover call this house? So maybe I'm not being clear. Yeah, you weren't I being clear at all. Anyone like... had called for me. Did personally. anyone call your mama? I asked if anyone with the male call. voice. He didn't call. Ah, well then. Very good. Oh, Midge, you lucky cell phones ain't a thing, baby. You would be <laughs> running up to death. <laughs> Thank you, Dawson. If this is my parents at this point, I'd just be like, please just get a divorce. Get a divorce. I don't have time for this. It was your responsibility last night to check on these cells, and now look at them. They're dead. The kill the cells are completely empty. <laughs> However, I can make this up to you, Joey. Disappointed in you, Dawson. I mean, it's obvious that you're just using Mary Beth to make Jen jealous. No. Like, I don't know that, Joey. I'm a heel of the worst kind. But you're still doing it. So what are you talking about? Yeah, but I can't, Joey. I babysit your parents. I know if I was really the person I thought I was, I would have enough consideration for Mary Beth's feelings and cancel the date. But I. Ugh, but you're I, not a good person. So <laughs> <laughs> that's why. And this is not the first or last time that this is uh, uh, epiphany <laughs> for you. Dawson is the worst main character that's ever written. Like, yes, I agree. I'm trying to. There was no like redeeming qualities about Dawson. Like, literally, the fact that he's the lead 
and none of his storylines hit like they supposed to hit. It's just like, yeah. Yeah. Come on, Joey, let's get a move on. I see my deviant lab partner has arrived. Transport me to the title post so we can find a pair of suitable replacement snails. Yeah. Yeah. He First still has not told the girl that it's a double date, so your girlfriend's gonna show up and she's gonna be like, I, I would leave though. I really wouldn't care. Literally, if you ask girlfriend show up on the date, I'm leaving. Why wouldn't you tell her? He didn't tie the boat up. Tell me that you tied her boat up and the one that's floating downstream isn't ours. And the problem, Mary Beth, is that it's not a like a pissing contest over you, which mm -hmm. lets me know you should leave. Listen, it's just a little cold water. Are you gonna survive? It's a prediction I make with all due regret at this point. I think I would pass that. I can't walk through no, unseeable water. It's changing to this. A blanket? You want me to change into that? Yeah, take off your wet clothes, wrap this around you just like I'm gonna do. But if you got your heart set on pneumonia, then feel free. <laughs> this is the moment that he knew that he liked Joey more than a friend. Oh, yes, you definitely owe her every explanation. Right to be upset with me because everything that you said before, everything that I convinced you wasn't the truth, but it, it was. I'm not a virgin. I mean, it was clear you were still hung up on Jan, but I don't know, you seem harmless enough. So if it wasn't my feelings for Jen that upset you, what was it? She liked Cliff. And you have a crush on Cliff? Of course. This doesn't mean that we still can't help each other out. This makes no sense. It would not happen in real life. If I'm on, if you're on a date with somebody, I'd be like, no, no, ma'am. I'm gonna ride with him. <laughs> I'm not gonna just let that fly. You're gonna make it out of here. Okay. You wanna go to some grade school and send me postcards back here? I'll be tending bar, pumping gas. Come on, Casey, you'll get out too. Sure oh, I can't. Real, like, real, real carnivals. I cannot get on the Ferris wheel. I'm sorry. I don't trust this pop up <laughs> fan. <laughs> I've been on the Ferris wheel at Navy Pier, but that's a constant thing. They don't take that down. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I can't get on the pop up ones. So you and Cliff seem pretty together. I wouldn't exactly say that. What would you say? I would say it's only a date. I don't think I want to talk about this with you anymore. This is weird. This is awkward. It really is. <laughs> this is cringy. I feel like they keep having these same conversations and it's not it's not clicking for either one of them. It means you shouldn't be here. I don't know why you wanted to come or why I let you, but at this point in time, I really don't think that a seamless transition into friendship is in the cards for us. Dennis, you weren't tired of men. You were just simply tired of me. Tired of you, yes. Just like me, I'm true. tired of you, Dawson. That's right. That, that <laughs> is not true. Okay, you know, the, 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 prove me wrong. He said that you need me just as much as I need you. Neither one of y'all need each other. Because y'all yeah. was never really happy. Here. It does kind of sound like... Taking out some of the fame that you said my uh, actually, I need to talk to you, Dawson. Okay? Fine. You know that Joey and I have never particularly liked each other, right? And somewhere, somehow in there, like her. As a friend. So like her like her. At first. Okay. At first implies that your feelings for Joey have somehow grown beyond the friendship stage. They have. Keep up. <laughs> you and Joey are mortal enemies. So you like Joey. <laughs> well, what do you need my permission for? That I wouldn't be stepping on any toes. You're my friend. Joey's my friend. So you cool with this? Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Right, so no, I'm not cool with right. this. No, wait, I'm not cool with this. <laughs> he was ready to swing. No, he said he was about to swing. <laughs> he was about to swing. The way he turned around, he was like. I couldn't. I couldn't.
be more fine with it. Yeah. Go for it. Kiss you your, could be more fine with it because you literally sure just changed your mind. Are you sure though? And this is Faithy's chance to make his story the first story. Ah! <laughs> so many things that would have been different. They would have never fell out because Dawson would have never got a chance to actually get with Joey because mm, oh, see, we could have started right here. <laughs> Had to wait a whole nother two seasons almost. Yeah, but it's the fact that Dawson wanted his cake to eat it too. Like he literally wanted both of these girls yeah, and you don't want nobody else to, to listen to him. He can talk to her, blah, blah. And what did you mean? Huh? I'll put it to this way. Hey, <laughs> see? <laughs> what the hell was that for? Why was it? Because I had a really nice time today. A nice time that exceeded my wildest expectations. I was, I was confused and surprised and attracted. See, I... <sighs> We stand a Pacey Joey moment. Oh my God, Pacey is so clear with his, like... I like Dawson. Like, when yeah. Pacey has attention, like, when Pacey like, gets effort into anything. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I liked you. I kissed you. I want you. Do you want me? <laughs> it's really awkward. She said she don't like him like that. Just you wait. Good night, Pacey. I know my son too, do I? Then y'all just gonna hear y'all... <laughs> Oh, Faisy. Bob, you better not be calling his house. Just keep hugging. Uh, squeeze him tighter, Gail. Don't let him think about it. So listen, uh, what we talked about before, what you asked me, I changed my mind. I don't want you to do it. Maybe if I would have done it, if it would have been, it would have already been done. To refresh my memory. <laughs> well, you're a little late. You kissed her. Yes. <laughs> Not only that, she kissed me back. Right there in the front seat of the Witter family truck. You're so full of it. Yes, I am. So are you. And so are you. Because you exhaust way too much time and energy on a girl you call your friend. Exactly. Tell so, like it is. Let's just Come on, Pacey. This is why. Like is it Jen or is it Joe? Do you like Pacey. the blonde or do you like the brunette? Well, it's not Jen. The Jen don't want nothing to do with you. It's time that you provide some answers. Exactly. Tired of you. Period. Yeah. Only, one <laughs> only one with sense. Pacey is literally the only person in the show with sense. Pacey and Mitch, I have to say. Pacey and Mitch. I ain't gonna lose season, season two, everybody has this besides Austin and Joey. Oh yeah, they were both crazy. This episode, definitely better than the last episode. The past two, two episodes, I think or one was like filler. Now we get back to real stuff. Yeah. So those, that past episode was so boring when they went out of town. <laughs> yeah. This episode was good. Um, Dawson just- they, did. they never, they didn't even show how, I just want to know how the date ended. They didn't show how the date ended. Um, yeah, Mitch knows it's time to divorce Gail. <laughs> he, he knows. Yeah. You know, they, the whole Mitch and Gail storyline literally been all over the place. They literally just came back on screen and only had like, what, three scenes together? So they was gone for a while. They was on couples retreat doing whatever. Yeah, trying to make their marriage work. Okay, well, thank you guys for watching with us. That was episode 10 of the season. We will be back next week with episode 11. So we'll see you there. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment down below and we'll see you on our next one. Peace.